Zimbabwe is hosting a four-day research and innovators conference which aims to strengthen collaboration and skills while also laying the foundation for evidence-based decision making, a critical tool in tackling public health issues. Now, the symposium brings together researchers and scientists from across the continent and will deliberate on the impact of climate change to the health sector, amongst other key findings. We get more in the following report. Climate change poses a huge threat to the country's health sector as it impacts negatively on the disease's burden. In the face of this threat, research and innovation remains critical in addressing the vagaries of climate change. The continent still has a, a disproportionate uh, burden uh, in terms of adverse health uh, compared to uh, many other continents. Um, and so focusing on health is critically important and advances have been seen um, but much more is, uh, is currently needed. Having both the Ministry of Health as well as the Ministry of Environment, uh, Climate and Wildlife uh, present here today is critically important to us. Also because we have seen the increasing impact of uh, climate change uh, on the health uh, of, of populations. As the country continues to struggle with the growing burden of non-communicable diseases, research also presents opportunities to tackle these. Through rigorous scientific inquiry, research enables us to gain insights into the complexities of diseases, identify effective interventions, and develop strategies to tackle public health issues. By conducting research that directly addresses the key health priorities outlined in these plans, we can generate knowledge that directly informs policy formulation, program implementation, and resource allocation. Moreover, research in health enables us to identify and address health disparities, understand the social determinants of health, and design interventions that are contextually appropriate and inclusive. It empowers us to develop innovative solutions to complex health challenges, promote health equity, and improve the overall well-being of our population. Experts believe that research and development has potential to improve health outcomes in the country. The outcomes of this symposium have the potential to shape policies, guide interventions, and inform decision-making processes that will steer our nation toward a healthier and more prosperous future. Furthermore, this symposium empowers our early career researchers who represent the future of research and innovation in Zimbabwe. Early research exposure is key to creating a culture of research in a country, and no country develops without strong research and innovation. Health research and development is really important to the health sector as it provides clinicians and health system investors with innovation and associated evidence for prevention, intervention, effective treatment and care pathways. While the country is pushing to increase its research and innovation capacity in line with National Development Strategy 1, partners have gone a long way in supporting the government's response to disease burdens such as HIV. The last 11 years has really been to uh, do research in partnership with Ministry of Health and National AIDS Council to answer questions of national importance to help improve um, the management and control of HIV in Zimbabwe. In addition, we've coupled that very strongly with capacity strengthening of researchers, um, particularly uh, young researchers and have built a program of PhD and master's students. 